Hello everyone, this is my video for percentages. What is a percent? Well, per means like a fraction and the per number is on the bottom. So a percent is just per hundred. So we imagine that the cake has a hundred pieces and we need 15. Because one piece is one. But if the cake is smaller, because we have 15% of 60, or bigger, because we have 15% of 600, uh, then the size of each piece will be different. In this case, it would be 0 0.6 big, because the whole cake is 60 and not 100 now. So we still have 15 pieces, but the pieces are smaller. OK, um, we can write percentages like that like a fraction, or we can write them like a decimal like this, and we can choose whichever way we think is easier. Okay, here are my first questions. I just wanna know, are these numbers the same? And you have to delete, if you think it's yes, delete the no, and if you, whoops, if you think it's no, delete the yes. Um, some of them I'm trying to cheat you a little bit there, so be careful. Okay, now these ones where you have to work out the value of something. I did the first three. If you want to find 10% of 40, it's an easy question, but so are yours. Um, well, 10% is the same as 1 over 10. And then the 40 we can put over the 10, and then we can just divide that and we get 4. If you want 1%, then it won't be 1 over 10, it'll be, well, I could have written that like this, couldn't I? I could have written 10 over 100. I could have written 10 over 100 because 10%, but I decided to simplify it, which would be easier if I could in there. I decided to simplify the 10 over 100 to 1 over 10. In this one, we want 1% 1 of 40. So that's 1 over 100 times 40, which is 40 over 100, so bye bye to one zero on the top and one zero on the bottom and then we've got four divided by ten which is 0 0.4 now all of the other things like 11 percent we can work out like this because 11 percent is that and so we just have to add those two numbers together that we worked out before okay those are your questions and i'm fairly sure that some of you have answered the first three while i was talking Okay, here we go. This is the last piece, by the way. Now, I put an online calculator link there. I'm not saying this is the best one, uh, but you can try that, and you can put in the numbers and see what happens. It will give you the answer there. But you don't have to use a calculator if you don't want to. You could just try some of these with no calculator. Okay, now I did the top one. It looks ugly because it's 92.3. But we just put 92.3 on the top, and we know 10% is a tenth. So divided by 10, that means we jump the decimal point one place left. And there's the answer. These questions are for you. I think I might help you with that one. So in this question, we have 14.6%. So I can write 14.6 and divide that by 100. And then we have to times that by 700. We could do that. 14.6 is a bit ugly here. How about I just change that to 146 over 1,000? Because that's the same thing. And then we can say that equals another fraction, 700 over 1,000. Oops, I've got my fraction already. 700 over 1,000 times 14.6. I'll make that column a bit wider. So 700 over 1,000, what's that? Well, we can kill two zeros on the top, and we can kill two zeros on the bottom. So. We could probably do that in our heads and we don't need the calculator. It's up to you. Okay, people, I've given you some 
nice easy questions to work out there these ones are getting a little bit difficult and i'll see you in the class a little bit later bye bye